All right, Austin, what is this you got? The Mossberg Shockwave. It's just Mossberg 500. Sawed off, shorter barrel. Uh, I think it's 16 inch barrel, 18 inch barrel. I forget exactly. Comes with that. Yeah, strap. strap. If not, you will blow it out of your hand. <laughs> and it's just made basically for home defense? Pretty much, yeah. Target they practice? They have them in wood stocks, synthetic stocks. Um, ones with pistol grips, ones with uh, chainsaw grips, all kinds of different ones. But just a home defense gun mainly. All right. And uh, you had a short shell too. What's that all about? Yeah, so they make a, uh, somewhere in my pocket here. They make a one and three quarter inch long shotgun shell in 12 gauge. Um, that one's a slug. I got shot shells as well. And normal shells are? And normal shells you'd be in about two and three quarter and three yeah, inch. These are two and three quarters. 12 gauge has three and three and a half. This is only chambered for up to three inch. Yeah, and some guns aren't. Yeah, so like my other 12 gauge semi-auto is only chambered up to three inches well. Right. But then you got some, like especially goose guns, they're chambered up to three and a half. Some of the 12 gauges are only chambered up to two and three quarter. And same, yeah. Yeah, you got to make sure they fit. Yeah. But never saw a little shorty like that. And uh, so is it going to hit the ground before it hits out there at the no, target? No, it'll make it all the way out there. It will? Um, yep. But it's made for short range, right? Pretty much. It's such a short barrel. There's no choke, so. I mean that little, shell, that little short. Oh, yeah. Uh, it'll still go out there. That's made for short range for sure. People actually use them for target practice for skeet shooting. It didn't say how much uh, black powder was in the... There's 18 grams. Oh. But um, so people actually about use half. these for skeet shooting because they're low recoil. Yeah, that's about half of what a normal yeah, I don't shell know is. Normal. These are target rounds. It all says it, uh, one and an eighth ounce. Doesn't tell shot. you. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I'd say probably close to... 200 grain and what's the shorties 18 grams or grains or grain know. yeah grain yeah they go by oh, black powder slugs. grains yeah. so it's only got 18 grains of black powder in there <laughs> not black powder but yeah well yeah exactly all right let's see how it shoots corbin you hold this and you think it'll get louder as the shells get bigger yeah so i will increase size if I can find each one of them. And is it safe to shoot at dark? Yeah, as long as you know what's behind the target. It's, <laughs> not, it's a mile to the nearest road. Yeah. With the shotgun. I ain't ever going to touch out there. No, not a mile. 410 maybe. I cannot find the right A shot. 410 could hit a mile. A 3 inch 410 shell is like a sniper rifle. So I'll load it up first with a short shot shell, followed by Sweet. the last one I'll shoot is a two and three quarter buck shot, followed by, or right before that will be a target round shot shell, and then right after that short shot shell, I'll shoot a short slug. So it's going to be a short shot, a short slug, a and then shot. And then, and then a then target a, shot. And then a buck shot. And then a buck shot. That's four aught, right? Uh, this is double aught. Oh, double aught. So two two balls. Uh, no, there's still like eight balls in it, but it's considered. Oh, double aught. Yeah. Okay. I was wrong. I have it. Mini shot. Slug. Ooh, that slug did was louder. Yeah, that's why I've never shot a full size slug out of it. Hold on, hold on. This we'll get some slow mo here. Mini shot. <laughs> this will be buckshot. Sweet. I'm going to get some uh, super slow-mos next. You can actually shoot these mini shots. 
The ducks are mad. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I'm gonna get a super slow-mo. All right, we think we got a slow-mo. Hopefully it all worked right. You're not scared of it, are you? Just hold it on. You're putting all shorts in though? No, this is everything. One of each. Okay, we'll do it one at a time. Put your hand in the strap. Okay. You just pull the trigger. Is the safety on right now? It's off now. Okay. Yeah, I'd hold it low and not hold it up too. Whoa, whoa. There you go. Hold tight. Now they get bigger. Keep the barrel kind of down. Is that harder? Yeah. All right, kick it out. This is the worst one. Wait. Okay, it's okay. I'll, I'll put it in slow mo. What do you think? That was hard. Yeah. Wait. What? It's fun though. I can get it there. It's quite hard to see. I did get it for a second, but it was it's kind of blurry. Alright, very cool. Barely legal, but it is. Completely legal in Ohio. Right? Yeah, most home states. defense. In most states. And they do make rubber rounds and sandbag rounds and all that stuff, right? Yep. Very cool. Thanks. Yeah. This is a rubber ball shell. Double rubber balls for a 20 gauge. No. 20 gauge rubber double ball. Rubble, ru rubber double ball. Say that three times. Rubber double ball. Oh my thing's still on. Now say it. Rubber double ball. R double rubber. Rubber double ball. I don't know. Double your rubber up. <laughs> so, I think a rubber bullet or salt or bean bags would be good home defense. But I wouldn't want to get hit with it. I know that. This has wildlife though. Yeah, that's what they're for. For bear. Oh. Good idea. I'll see if I can get some film of it. I'll turn this light off. Yeah, go shut that off, will you? Hold it up and just look through there. Don't shoot it. Oh, whoa. Alright, now let me see if I can film it for a second. I gotta go back up. Is that good in it? Can't tell. Can you see? No. no. I don't know. I don't move it around. There's a screen in there. Mm -hmm. You can see all over there. All right, hold on. Dang. Basically, you can see at night. I can actually record in that, though. You can? It, it's actually shot sensitive, so when you take a shot at like a coyote, it automatically starts recording. So there's film on that? Yeah. That's it amazing. SD card. It's just covered. As soon as you shoot it starts filming. That way you know where the coyote is. Where it runs to, huh? So you can get the shot when you shoot it.
And what's this big thing right here? IR light. IR, IR oh. light camera has an IR camera. Picks it up. And that's probably why the cam that's probably why the camera's not picking it up. Hmm. Look how big that is. Because it's an IR light. That's amazing. Well you have to send me some footage of something sometime. Can you see what does that look? Can you see it? Oh yeah. Can you see that one? No, we're never leaving behind. I was talking to Debbie. Hey, you're one of us. Half an hour before those same charming chips hit us. Jupiter used on the basics of one. We need to stock it with everything we can carry. Stocking over. That's sweet. Shoots a 44 cal. Looking down the barrel of a gun. That's what it feels like, guys. Actually, surprisingly accurate. I bet. We were shooting pumpkins. Is what the cowboys used. The no, they, they. Well, they did. I bet. Same majority. Until they came out with the, with the, everything. Most of them use repeater. That's just twenty-two, but they use. They still use cartridges, not so much black powder. That's just a cheap. 22. Well, yeah. Once they figured out cartridges. They didn't always know that, did they? No. That's something they had to come up with. So what are you guys going to come up with, your generation, since we already got cartridges? Rail guns. What's that? Those things? <laughs> no, rail guns, uh, they use a magnetic coils that you put a metal spike in pretty much and it launches that magnetic coil at like supersonic speeds. No. So like just as fast as a bullet but without no powder and uses electric. So yeah, you're saying we've created a monster. So yeah, the Navy's actually <laughs> created one, but the problem with them is they use so much damn power that they're hard to use. Yeah. But Wow. Interesting. I'll have to check into that rail gun. Christmas tree vlog. Hey, you gotta plug this in. I love the weather, man. So we're gonna countdown. Dun, dun, dun. Where you plug it in there? I don't know. <laughs> Not my house. I don't know either. It's barely my house. <laughs> Where do you plug it in at? Over on the side back wall. Side back wall. Let me get back so you can get the whole feel there. Can you get these? The frame on them down here, the plastic area. Cue Christmas music. What a feeling. Now it's time for Christmas. And Christmas is my favorite time of year. It's beginning to look like all my wishes Are coming true, that's why I cheer I've been busy decking the halls I've been kind to big and small And now it's time to have a merry holiday What a feeling when it's time for Christmas Let's sing a carol and we'll bring it here I guess that spring and summer, they're all fine 
But I've been waiting for the season that's mine So let it come Yeah, let it come Snowflakes fall, I can hear the sleigh bells call They're saying it's time to have a merry holiday What a feeling, now it's time for Christmas And Christmas is my favorite time of year It's beginning to look like all my wishes are coming true that's why i cheer i've been busy decking the halls i've been kind to big and small and now it's time to have a merry holiday what a feeling when it's time for christmas let's sing a carol and we'll bring it here Let's sing a carol and we'll bring it here Let's sing a carol and we'll bring it